Every single day I feel like we stray further from God because these what the hell are these? What are these leaks? Because these are making their way around the Dragon Ball community and it's unsure whether they are real or not because remember, Toei was hacked. That's why the movie was pushed back. That rhymed. Didn't mean to, but it did. So could all these leaks possibly be true? Because if that's the case, then oh my god, is this... This is a big one. Not only a big one, but it is ambitious. It is probably one of the most ambitious things Toei has done. And this movie does not look ambitious at all. So that's why to me, these leaks feel like they're 100% fabricated and they're not actually real. Especially when we've seen many times in the past where artists are able to create artwork that looks entirely legitimate, looks like it could be a leak of something in the future of Dragon Ball, usually Shintani style, and then that ends up being 100% fake, actually more like a troll from these artists to show that it's very easy to fake leaks, which I 100% think it is. The first leak in and of itself is probably the most startling, not only because it doesn't look like it's in 3D or that CGI Dragon Ball Super superhero kind of way, it honestly looks like something from Heroes. It's literally just Raditz without a shirt on a platform and these platforms look very similar to what the androids were on in the cell saga before they were activated and so raditz is just standing there with his eyes closed and my heart is slowly breaking in two because if true this leak this part of the movie will entirely go over everyone's expectations of the movie and it'll definitely hit that wow factor. Raditz is not something anyone thought about having in the movie at all. He's like too entirely out of left field and it just doesn't make any sense at all for him to be in the movie. And so immediately I'm thinking that these are fake until I saw the second leak and the second leak is this dude right here. Tristan's dad from Yu-Gi-Oh. He is actually in what looks to be the same room looking on to Raditz. And that's when the weight of this possibly being a real leak, it starts to get heavy on my shoulders because this could be legitimate. And the fact that it kind of looks like it's taken off of, of a screen of some kind, it adds that mysterious nature of it. Personally for me, I think it's fake, but here I am gonna say if it is real, what does it mean? They've resurrected Raditz as an android. That's what it means. How would they do that, you might ask? Well, I mean, they still have access to Raditz's body. He was buried on Earth. It wouldn't take that much effort for them to steal that body and figure out a way to resurrect them. I mean, it would be some hijinks. And honestly, it doesn't make much sense to the what the movie's about, the theme of the movie, and everyone thinking that it's Cell. To be honest, it feels like an end credit scene. It feels like that's the ending of the movie, you know? It doesn't have anything to do with what happened during the movie, but maybe this is this guy's, like, private project or something. And at the end of the movie, when the villain actually gets defeated, he's like, well, I still have a second chance. And then there you go, it's Raditz. Very ambitious, if it's true but more than likely, extremely fake. Subscribe for more content.